All right, you know I kind of like board gaming. Chris, do you like board gaming? I love board gaming. And do you like playing with amazing components? Yes. And do you like games that are just super quality and just can provide an insane adventure? I do like that. All right, well then get out because I got nothing for you. <sighs> uh, <laughs> But actually, oh. in October, I do got something for you because oh. Dice Fest 2017 is happening, Woo! and it's all because the good folks at Flying Frog. And luckily, we know a couple guys. Oh yeah, I love right. those guys. We, we kind of know the guys. Yeah. We know we know Scott. We know Jason Hill. Scott Hill, Jason Hill, Flying Frog. Welcome. Oh, thank you so much. Yay. Hello. Uh, how many? I don't know how many times we've seen these guys at you know PAX and Emerald mm-hmm. City Comic Con, and uh, every once in a while they just we have these conversations. And Scott, you've said someday I just want to put on my own con. I really want to do this, and it looks like the day has happened. The day has happened. It, it hasn't happened yet, but it's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> Halloween uh, weekend of 2017. <laughs> Which is really, I mean, that is a perfect time for you guys to have a con because, you know, a lot of your games do just have that kind of, we should be playing this on Halloween and any other kind of time where it's spooky time. Yeah, it's a good horror vibe. Yeah. yeah that, and that's perfect, especially for a lot of the games that you have. And this is, I, I'm, I'm not wrong, this is the 10th anniversary of Last Night on Earth, yeah? Absolutely. That is correct. So yeah. was that sort of the uh, the inspiration for having it around Halloween, or what was the uh, what was the thought process there? Because Last Night on Earth was our first game, this is our 10th anniversary as well as a company. Oh. So we thought, ooh, 10th anniversary, we should we should do something. We should wow. Yeah, what a better way to years. celebrate, you know? I yeah. can't believe it's been, I yeah. can't believe 10 years ago that's when that game came out. It, it, it's amazing how much time has gone by. Seems like just yesterday I'm watching Tabletop with Will Wheaton, and there it is. Oh, yeah. Wow. Last night on Earth, 10th year anniversary. I hear also uh, there's a special anniversary edition um, kind of staring uh, at some pretty <laughs> awesome looking components, which, by the way, your games always have awesome components of Flying Frog. So this like you've even gone over the top over yourself with this one. Yeah, we wanted to make a version of Last Night on Earth that really celebrated uh, 10 years of survival horror and, and uh, really kind of pimped out people's games. So. Basically, it's got some really, uh, really awesome plastic uh, components that are replacing a lot of the cardboard counters that were in the original game. Yeah, um, you know, we got plastic wound markers and gas cans, and uh, we even have a, a little plastic miniature for Old Betsy, the faithful dog that you can sick on the zombies. <laughs> Don't forget uh, the truck. Yeah, the old truck in the oh, center yeah. of town. You can try to escape in, and it's all clawed and scratched up, like zombies have been tearing away at it. Oh, it, look, it looks, it looks really great, really amazing. How, how, how long have you guys been planning this convention? Um, you know, we've been we've been thinking about it a lot for probably four or five years at yeah. least, and uh, and it's just been coalescing into uh, trying to boil it down to the coolest ideas and and the the best way to celebrate uh, ten years of being in the game industry and and really trying to do something exciting for it. Yeah, this is a great vacation destination weekend because what you know, the Pacific Northwest is just known for having a great gamer experience. We have a lot of board game cafes, and so if you want to come and spend more than just that weekend, Dice Fest happening October twenty eighth, twenty ninth, Redmond, Washington, at the old Redmond Schoolhouse. Uh, you can get an early bird price of thirty bucks, and that uh, that goes on until August thirty first. Otherwise, it's forty bucks, but that gets you. And what does that? What do we expect to see as we walk in? Because, I mean, you guys have so many amazing games. Am I going to be able to play pretty much whatever product you guys have if I go there? Am I going to be able to get demos on everything? And, well, if I wanted to buy something, is that a possibility? (laughs) So, absolutely. We're going to have everything that we have at a a convention just blown out to where it's huge. So, we'll have a giant store area. We'll, We'll have all of the products we've ever come out with, a bunch of kind of new and exciting things, maybe some exclusives. Yeah, some cool preview items that aren't available yet. Ooh. Uh, and then we're going to have demos of all of our games. So anybody who hasn't played one, they can. It's starting from square one. They can actually play and, and learn it. You know. So maybe they're a fan of Last Night on Earth, but they've never played a Touch of Evil. So we're going to have all of that. But the other big thing is we 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 want to do something for for people that already play and love the games. So yep. we're going to have you know huge mega events, enormous you know tables. We're just crazy stuff is happening that you that you never conceived of so the types of thing where it's uh, games that you would have a hard time doing at home so uh being able to play on a on big tables that have kind of built up 3d terrain or like a 3d (laughs) 3D version of a of a board that's normally just you know a folding board Mm -hmm. but you know instead you've got uh you know constructed uh, pieces to represent buildings and things like that and I heard there was going to be like a, a cool panel about uh, last night on Earth. Is that is that true, or am I that's am I making true. that up? That's true. The word on the street is correct in this case. <laughs> uh, so we're going to actually try to to get together all of the original cast and crew and creators of Last Night on Earth and have them on stage 
for sort of a panel, you know, Q and A about the making of how it actually happened, how people got together, and and uh, it's great because a lot of these people have never actually met because we shot separately yeah. with different actors and models. But you know, if they didn't happen to shoot in the same shoot, they've never met each other, even though they've been. Their characters have had adventures for the last 10 yeah, years. Yeah, they've been fighting zombies together for the last 10 years, and suddenly they'll be meeting in real life <laughs> And the now they'll meet time. for the first time. Oh, yeah. that's, that's really cool. Now, one of the other things that I love about most of your games is it always comes with a really, really great soundtrack CD mm. so that I can have, have mood music for when I'm playing, and it always fits really, really well with the gameplay. Is that uh, going to be featured at all? Uh, absolutely. We're actually doing a, a soundtrack concert, like a, a live performance ah, of a bunch of the soundtrack nice. stuff. And uh, Mary, Mary Beth, the, yes. is, is, she's actually going to be part of this because yeah. right? she's the one that pretty much makes the sound. I hope so. She's yeah. not allowed to be on <laughs> no, stage no. during that. Yeah, we had it. to get a cover band. Uh, yeah, she's uh, she's entirely too famous now. She's like, oh, exactly. Let's get the, uh... She'll make an appearance via satellite. <laughs> She'll phone it in literally. No, she's going to be on stage, and um, you know, in recent years, uh, she's been working with a lot of really talented uh, musicians, and so we're going to actually draw from a, a bunch of those people. They're going to be playing with her, different you know okay. people on violin and. And mandolin, and you know all these amazing instruments. In the in the early days, like when we did the Last Night on Earth soundtrack, it was just her in a room with a with a keyboard, yeah. <laughs> and she played all the parts and she sang all the parts. And so um, that's one of the things that we did actually on the new 10th anniversary edition. We we made this amazing pimped out soundtrack where oh. we remastered all the original songs. You're already getting my money, okay? <laughs> Jeez, Shut I'm up here. And take my money. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, she. So we we actually recorded new string parts. We remastered the stuff. We did some new songs, and so um, a lot of those we're going to be playing live at this oh, concert. It's that is, that really is cool. so cool. And yeah, you know, this is, and this is what's so awesome about Flying Frog as a game company. You guys are really, really just different because of the fact that you put out such amazing quality, and it's immersive, and it covers like the soundtrack. And another thing, of course, is the minis. I mean, you know, I mean, the, the, the gameplay is great, and the themes are great, but then you throw in these great minis, great components. I mean, and I've seen people trick out minis, you know, yeah. uh, you know especially for Shadows. I mean, uh, you know, that, uh, it's just amazing, and I'm wondering, is, is that going to have any component at all because of the fact I bet some people have done some really cool stuff with their own minis that they got from your games. Ooh. Yeah, we've been really impressed for the last few years uh, since we put out Shadows of Brimstone. Really, uh, it's encouraged people to not only put their figures together, but paint them. And so we started having a painting contest just to see if anybody would be would be interested in showcasing their work. And we tried to get the idea out that, you know, you don't have to be some tremendous painter. Just, like, share what you've done. Mm -hmm. And uh, Yeah, it really encourages people to get into the hobby aspect of the game and be able to, you know, paint up their figure exactly the way they think yeah. their character would look and maybe even convert it a little bit, cut off an arm, put a different arm on, that kind of thing. <laughs> and I think because we come from, um, you know, our games are traditionally like board games, mm -hmm. and now Shadows of Brimstone was our first sort of hobby game where you would paint your miniatures and stuff. And so a lot of people, it's their first time painting ever, and some of these contests will have winners that are like, it's, well, my husband got into it, but then I just, <laughs> I wanted to paint the figures, and it's so much fun, and then they'll win, you know, second place or yeah. whatever, and it's amazing talent that you're seeing from wow. people who who really never stepped, you know, dipped their toe into this this yeah, realm they, of They game. might have only been painting for painting miniatures for the last, you know, year or something, and suddenly they're blooming. So, you know, if they, that, that's one thing if they want to deck out their components and deck out their minis. What if they want to deck out themselves? Is there anything going on for that? Uh, and, Absolutely. You know, there's a lot of cosplay <laughs> that people love to do at cons. Objection, leading witness. So, <laughs> so we, you know, sustained. <laughs> at, <laughs> I'll allow it. Uh, we, you know, at Gen Con a few years ago, we had this entire group of about eight people show up in costume, and I thought, wow, look at these guys are wearing cowboy hats and stuff. I wonder if they know that we have a game that's, <laughs> oh, that's, that's an old awesome. west game. And then they come up, and I and as they got closer, one of them it was a bandito, and he had a tentacle mustache. I'm like, wow, that's. That is pretty... Yeah, oddly specific. Yeah, that's oddly specific. And <laughs> then we realized yeah. <laughs> they were dressed as characters from as our game. Wow. And we thought this is the most one in a million, you know, once in a lifetime kind of thing. We better take some pictures with these guys and, and whatever. Two hours later, another group of no. about eight people showed up. Yeah, another totally entire, different people. Entire Old West posse showed yeah. up. <laughs> two, wow. two in a row. And crazy. we were like, this is insane. And so, uh, yeah, absolutely. At Dice Fest, we're going to be doing a costume contest for, for cosplay for all of our games.
And uh, and just in case we didn't make it totally clear before, <laughs> we're doing a painting contest for yeah. uh, for painted figures as well. This is fantastic, guys. Uh, Jason Hill, Scott Hill, Dice Fest 2017. You want more info? Uh, this is this is just a flying frog gala. Their games are amazing. If you if you know their games, well, then you got to get out here. Make the plans to get out here because yep. this is you're going to the mecca. If you don't know their games, this is this is such a wonderful company, and just for you to go experience what makes Flying Frog different than any. other other game company out there uh it, it, you you've got to check it out and you want if you want to flyingfrog.net that's where you go to find out all information about dice fest the 28th and 29th of october at the old redmond schoolhouse in redmond washington that's washington state uh again flyingfrog.net that's where you go jason scott you know i, I love this guys and congratulations on the 10th anniversary yeah, of last night on nice earth that job. is fantastic thank, thank you, you very much. so much and and we're really excited for it to be unleashed into stores this october the uh, the 10th anniversary oh just in time for Dice Fest. Nice. <laughs> there's, a, there's also a really cool miniature. We wanted everybody who's coming to Dice Fest to get something, oh, something oh, very exciting oh, and really? exclusive. So this is uh, just for Dice Fest. Oh, and with, with each admission, they get this grizzled, yeah. hardened gunslinger. That looks so good. Very paintable. <laughs> very paintable. <laughs> that looks awesome. It's quite paintable. <laughs> guys, thanks for coming, and we do yeah. appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thank you. Boom. Awesome. Very good. It's like you guys have done this before. Well. <laughs> <laughs> no, not the first time. All right, so let me take a look.